Hey everyone, it's Caleb Chamberlain at CH Robotics. In the last video, we talked about how to connect the UM7 to your computer using the USB expansion board. I still have that connected, and I have the serial interface software open, graphing data like we talked about in the last video. In this video, we're going to talk about how to configure the communication options on the UM7 so that uh, we can get the data that we want at the rates that we want it. So I'm going to click the Configuration tab and click Read. And uh, we'll read in all the settings as they exist right now. UM7 is configured so that we can transmit any set of data at any rate that we want. So for example, if I open up Broadcast Rates States here, notice that we're broadcasting a health packet at 2 hertz and we're transmitting Euler angles at 20 hertz. If we uh, look at our processed data broadcast rates, we're transmitting packets containing all the processed data at 20 hertz as well. Now notice we're still graphing data. If I change our broadcast rate for process data and do a RAM commit, notice that uh, we're still graphing but the data is never changing. We're not transmitting it anymore. So I can turn that back on. Let's say we want it at 50 hertz. And now we are reading the uh, process data in at 50 hertz instead. The UM7 also has the capability to transmit human readable NMEA packets. Uh, basically, they're, uh, they're easy to read, but they're not as efficient as binary packets. So let's go ahead and turn off all of our binary packets here and do a RAM commit. Uh, notice the status uh, wrote to multiple registers to change those settings. Notice that the RX light on the USB expansion board is no longer flashing. That means the UM7 is not transmitting anything. I'm going to open up our NMEA packet rates, and let's say we want a health packet at 2 hertz, so 2 times a second. And we want a sensor data packet, let's say, at 20 hertz. So we'll commit that. The serial interface does not plot data that's coming from NMEA packets. It just ignores those. So let's go back to serial settings and click disconnect. And I'm going to open up PuTTY, which is some terminal software. Click serial. Remember we were on COM9 and the default baud rate is 115.200. I'll open that. And there are our NMEA packets. I don't know if you can see it with the uh, with the software as it stands now, but we've got sensor packets coming in, and every once in a while, uh, twice per second, in fact, we're getting a health packet. So if I grab the slider here to kind of stop it, um, you can see the uh, the data being transmitted there. This is an easy way to make sure the sensor is working, and uh, you can move the sensor around and see the data change and so on.